number. It's an all too familiar scene. Beeps, brake lights, and the occasional bump. Nobody going anywhere anytime soon. But, <laughs> though they look like they're just having a good time, these three University of Washington students might be onto something big because it's small. If we can make downtown uh, have no traffic jams ever again, I think a lot of people would be interested in living in a world like that. Ben knows this is a monumental moment for him and Taylor in the middle there Should. and Alex on the right. Power on. In a few seconds, it'll All right. start, start uh, moving. We haven't actually done a test outdoors yet, so I'm not entirely sure what it's going to do. They're trying to perfect a tricycle that drives itself. So when we attempted to use it on Monday, it uh, slammed on the brakes, and that's Skidding. not good. Under the tutelage of Professor Tyler Folsom, they're being graded on today's test run. This is actually their demo for the end of the quarter to show that uh, what they can do with it. It can go 20 or 30 miles an hour. So who gets to ride? Uh, I think we're going to do at least one run without anybody on it, just to see that everything works. <laughs> the wheels let them know. Oh, there we go. go. It's live. I don't know where it's going. OK. And then it's turning right. Perfect. Yay! They say the autonomous tricycle could start a transportation transformation because it's much smaller and lighter than a car. It doesn't have to be 4,000 pounds of steel. It can be efficient and we can move people in the city with less energy and less congestion. And fewer cars on the road mean fewer accidents. Obviously, it's not going to have the same utility as an SUV going bouldering, and it's not going to carry your entire like small class of children in a minivan. Uh, but for a person making a commute or running to a grocery store, it's more than adequate. How fast is it? 12? 12. Ooh. Let's do it. First time they ramp up the speed. Oh, I'm oh done. <laughs> that was quite a bit faster. They're glad nobody's aboard yet. It's not going to try and avoid running into people right now. Um, so we've got a nice big open area. But the eventual plan is for a rider to punch in a location on their phone, sit back and enjoy the view hands-free. Autonomous vehicles seem like a really cool way to improve the world and I wanted to work on it, even in a, some tiny way. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Okay, it is still early, but the program is already attracting a lot of attention. They have received a $75,000 grant from Amazon, and they were recently featured in 42.